What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to show you on how to make a simple dialogue system. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we got to do is basically create our NPC that's just going to be standing there so we can interact with it. Of course, if you already have your own NPC or your own AI or whatever, you can just use uh, that guy, okay? But in my case, I'm just going to create a quickly a new folder um, to, you know, put everything here. So, uh, dialogue. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and create a new blueprint. And in my case, it's going to be a character. So, if in any case I want to move him around, you already have the ability to move around. I'm going to call him BP NPC. And we're going to go ahead and open him up. Okay. So, the first thing that I'm going to do is just go ahead and, um, you know, add the mesh. Uh, I'm basically just going to use the default, uh, you know, mannequin. Um, probably just, for example, Manny or whatever. I'm going to place him correctly. So, minus 89 and minus 90. Okay. Okay, so now that we have our, you know, character, I'm just going to go ahead and apply his animation uh, blueprint so he can just play the evil animation so it's gonna apply the app money and you can see that now we have a simple npc um so i'm just gonna go ahead and drag him into the scene just in front here and i'm gonna go ahead and rotate him facing me like that okay so now we have our npc on the scene and right now if we you know go into him we cannot do anything of course so we're gonna implement the interaction system. So we're gonna make it uh, by an interface. An interface will allow us to basically, um, int, uh, you know, connect and interact with other actors without need to cast uh, to them or anything like that. So it's much more convenient uh, for this uh, system, for example. So we're gonna create a new uh, blueprint interface. That's gonna be called BPI dialog. I mean. You can call it however you want. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it up. And we will see that we um, have created a new function. We're going to rename this into basically just, uh, for example, talk. Okay. So we will not need any inputs and outputs. So we can just compile and save. And just go ahead and close this asset down. So the next thing that we're going to do is go into our third person character. And we're going to go into the event graph. Now, what we're going to do is that when we hit a key, we will uh, search for the actors that are near. And then if it's an NPC, we will interact with him. So I'm going to go down into here and we're going to say, for example, when I press the E key, we're going to go ahead and do some things. So let's add the E key over here. And what we will do is a um, for each loop. And what we're going to do is basically um, get our all overlapping actors, okay? Get overlapping actors. And the thing is that you say, okay, but then I will be need, need, needing to be uh, colliding with the NPC. Well, what we're going to do in the NPC is just basically add a new sphere collision. And this is going to be our trigger zone. So this is going to be the zone that we can interact with him. So let's go ahead and increase the sphere radius until, for example, 100. Uh, well, actually, it's going to be much bigger, 200. So if I'm standing inside, we'll be able to interact. Now, make sure that it's in overlap only pawn, so only the actors will be able to uh, interact with it. So now we can compound save and we can go ahead and place the NPC on here. <clears throat> okay, so. Basically, when we find our NPC, we will uh, basically um, has uh, implements interface. Does implement interface. This is going to be our BPI dialog that we have just created before. I'm going to make a branch here. So if this is true, we will go ahead and uh, interact with it. Now let's go back into our NPC, and we need to add our um, you know uh, interface into it. So just go into class settings and in here you can see that we have no, uh, not any interface. So we can just add one and it's going to be our BPI dialog. And there we go. Okay. So what we can do now is from the every element, we can just say um, talk, which is what we called 
our uh, function in the interface. So now basically it will talk to, um, to whatever uh, NPC is colliding with. All right, so that's cool. So the next thing that we have to do is go into the NPC. I'm gonna go into the event graph. Now for now, we will not need any of this, you know, events. So we can just delete them. And the thing is that we're gonna create a new, uh, well, a new event for our interface. Now you can see that we have interfaces down here and we have our talk event. So we're just gonna go ahead and right click and implement event. So now we have it on here. So for now, what we're going to do is just print and it's gonna just print hello just to check that everything is working. So now over here, I press E, nothing happens. But if I were to go ahead and um, get closer to the character. Okay, <laughs> so uh, I forgot something and it's that the collation, uh, it's just colliding with the pawn. So what we're going to do is go into the NPC, into the trigger zone, and instead of overlap only pawn, it's gonna be overlap all dynamic. Okay, now it will work. Press play. Now we can get uh, closer to him and then we can press E and now it says hello, as you can see on there. So that's cool. So what we have to do now is uh, set him a set of uh, text that he will basically, you know, talk to us. So for this, what we're going to do is create a new variable and this will be overall the dialogue. So literally you can just call him dialogue. Uh, and basically the type of variable is going to be a string because it's just going to be text. Now on here in the details, we're going to say that's going to be an array because it's going to be basically a list of different texts and we'll cycle through them as we go. So now we can go ahead and just drag this here and let's say get dialogue. So now we can delete the print hello. So what we're going to do is also create a new variable and it's going to be our um, talk index, for example, and then we change it into an interior. So this will be the number of um, like basically wh which message are we on right now. So every time we talk, we will cycle through it. So what we can do is basically get a copy of one of this with our talk index. And uh, I just make sure the talk index is back into single, not an array. Now we can drag it and plug it in. And the thing is that right now what we do is every time we press talk, what we do is just um, get talk index and basically increment it by one. So now it will basically give us our array. So we're gonna go ahead and print string. So it will print the message, but of course we will, you know, put it in the UI uh, beautiful and stuff. But for now, this will work for us. Now make sure that we start with a talk index of minus one. So here, minus one, because as you know, um, the you know arrays start with zero, not with one. So the first time it's gonna increment it and it will be zero. Okay, and then it will go so on, so on. So now we can just press play and you can see if I get, well, <laughs> first of all, we have to add some text. So click in the dialog and we can add some, you know, text things over here. The first thing is going to be like, hello, adventurer, something like that. And then, um, um, kill some, uh, enemies for me. And then like something like, it's a dangerous job. You know, but whatever you like. Uh, so now we're gonna compile and save. And now when I press play, I can go here. And when I press E, you will see, hello adventurer, kill some enemies for me, it's a dangerous job. Exactly what we have written there. And it's dynamically uh, cycling through them. Another thing that I'm gonna make sure is that before we do uh, access it, I'm just gonna make sure, uh, so I'm gonna add a branch. I'm gonna make sure that the talk index is um, basically um, smaller or equal than the dialog uh, length. So it will basically not give us an error if the index, uh, so basically if the dialog has finished and you're ready, you're also pressing to interact more. So. There we go, we can just go here and he will cycle through it. And then when I press E, nothing will happen and we don't have any errors. Very important. Okay, so now we can start adding our user interface, our UI to display the text.
on the screen. So it's gonna go ahead and create a user interface, widget blueprint, user widget, and it's gonna be a WB. Um, okay, so now we can go ahead and open it up. Now, of course, I'm gonna make it, you know, real quick, just adding some text. And then later on, you can go ahead and customize it as you want to make it and how beautiful you want it to be. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to add is a canvas panel into the hierarchy over here. And what we're going to do is just drag some um, text over here. We're going to go ahead and uh, rescale this uh, text block as you want. So, for example, let's cover this like this kind of this part of the screen and to make sure that the anchors are on each corner of it so it will resize correctly uh, to the screen size and resolution. So now we, for example, we can put hello adventure, blah, 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 blah. No, ha <laughs> ha, whatever, right? It's just to make sure that everything is fine. So you can, uh, you know, put it as you want. In my case, I'm gonna center it and also i'm gonna go ahead and there we go like that is okay and i think i do is also add some blur in the black background so it's a bit um preacher this is just things that i like to add but of course you know you can put them as you want also the anchors here and then uh where is it where is it Blue strength 10 or something like that behind it's like on top uh, maybe five is a bit better and i'm gonna make it you know a bit smaller because i don't have a long text honestly in my dialogue but there we go okay so now we can compile and save so now we need to synchronize uh, basically this text to what you know we're getting from this text over here in our array so Basically, to do this, what we're going to do is select our text. I'm going to rename this into um, talk text. Not the best name, but anyway. And then I'm going to mark this variable over here so we can access it from outside. So now we're going to go back into our BB and PC and right after this, create it. So create widget and the class is going to be the one that we created. So uh, dialog and the only player is going to be get player controller. Great. I'm going to go ahead and uh, the first thing is going to right click promote to variable so we have a reference to it. So it's going to be UI. And then I'm going to go ahead and add this into the viewport so it appears on the screen and it will basically create. So of course we're only going to do this if UI, I'm going to get it and right click value to get it, and only if it's not valid. So basically it has not been created before. If it has been created before, we don't have to go ahead and create it again. I'm gonna pull this down. And then what we're gonna do is get our UI. And basically, we're gonna get our um, uh, talk text that we had earlier. And then we're gonna set the text over here. And I'm gonna make this over here and then put it up. So also in an valid, it will go over here. And now the in text will basically be, well, this, what we are printing on the screen. But now, of course, we will not be printing it on the screen. So we can just go ahead and move this down. Okay. So that's pretty much it. We can now save. And now if I press play, you can go and into the player. You can see that I have my widget up here with hello adventurer. Kill some enemies for me. It's a dangerous job. Now. Uh, we have to go ahead and, uh, you know, disactivate it when it's finished. So on false over here, I'm going to get rid of this because I'm not in anymore. And UI, I'm going to get it and then uh, remove uh, from parent. This will basically remove the widget. So now if we go here, go L Adventure, go some minutes for me, it's a new job. And then uh, there we go, it, it uh, destroyed it. Now, you saw that I have to, you know, press it one more time. Um, this is just because uh, this instead of being wait a second less equal, it's just gonna be equal. And then plug this here, and then I'm gonna delete this. 
So now it will only do it. Hello, adventure. Go to minutes for me. It's a genius job and it disappears. Great. So we pretty much have the system. I'm just going to make some more little changes to get some more feedback as just, for example, playing a sound. Now, if you have a like a voice acting, you can do it. But in my case, I don't have voice acting. I'm just going to make a simple sound. For example, you just button click. It's okay for me. Now, a more thing I'm going to do is go into here and add an image uh, this size, basically. And what to do is just place the anchors over here and some anchors. And it's going to be just a background black color. So it, it, there's not so much contrast and the alpha is going to be like 0.2 something like that and it's gonna be just above before the so now i can go into my npc press hello give us some menus for me it's a dangerous job and it finishes so that's it guys if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful i really appreciate it could like the video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unreal engine facts to like this one so if you want to check them out go ahead and do so and now yes with all i said bye bye